Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channel message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's look at this uh, channel message reading for you and see what's going on in your life. I do ask that you use discernment always to take what resonates and leave what does not. Um, Let's see. Also know that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody. If this message doesn't resonate with you, that's absolutely okay. It just means that it's another person's story. And you're always welcome to watch the tons and tons of other readings that we have here on the channel. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. Channeled message reading. What's the message for someone out there? Channeled message reading. Channeled message reading. Adjudication, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Adjudication, tell us more. Let's see. Tell us more about this message, Holy Spirit. Occupation, occupation was actually the first card that came out, but it flipped over, so I did it again, all right? So, occupation. Judication. The judication card is where you need a mediator, you know, sort of like a third party to step into a situation and talk a case, talk about a case pertaining to two people, places or things. Um, long booklet. So with adjudication, it could literally represent a judge that intervenes. Um, it could also represent a counselor, you know, uh, attorney, advisor. Let's see here. I'm trying to look it up here. Yeah, it says adjudication. He will make a decision, right? He will make a decision on your matter. It could it could be in your favor, but it could also be against you. Literally, this card stands for minor government officials, bureaucrats, clerks, school boards, zoning boards, and other types of boards or professional advisors, all right? And then you have occupation that's here. So clearly this is some sort of official, like an official person that's working on a, on a case pertaining to you. That's how it feels. I know the official person card isn't here, but I feel like that's, it is an official person, but specifically maybe someone even from the justice system. Um, let me see here. Tell us more about this message, Holy Spirit. Thank you for guiding us. Tell us more about this message. Oops. I'm going to do that again. Tell us more. I'll shuffle better. Tell us more about this message. Tell us more about this message. Tell us more about this message. So you have the strength card, which is all about overcoming difficulties, being brave, courageous, strong. Page of Cups is here. Tell us more about this message, the tower card. Hmm. Then you have the emperor. Tell us more about this message, the high priestess. Let's see here. What is this about? Queen of swords and the knight of pentacles? Hmm. I'm still trying to understand what is this adjudication about? I'm still trying to main mail. I wonder if somebody's making an official, like someone's making a decision here about someone. Clarify concern. Hmm. Tell us more about this main mail. Tell us more about this main mail. High honor. High honor is like the person who's leveling up, like receiving a promotion, acing an exam. Those are the examples that the booklet uses. Imprisonment. Let me see here. Tell us about this main mail. Looks like somebody. Tell us about this main mail. Let me see here. Imprisonment. Imprisonment. Is this about community? It's 
like a third person. Am I picking up on the energy of a third person? Hold on, you guys. We're going to get this expectation. It's like a third person here. It's trying to pathway. Uh-oh. I think someone's been expecting to see you. Like something's meant to happen in your life. Something's something like like a door is open already for you with the pathway. The pathway has been cleared for you. Something's meant to be starting already in your life, but it hasn't. And I see an official person here, like judication, occupation. This may be someone who is from the court or tell us more about this judication card. Main male. Like so, I'm gonna look more into this. Main male, family room. You see? Sudden wealth. Okay, it feels like somebody tried to reach you. Main male, sudden, like sudden wealth is here. And then that family room card, it's like a closed, um, intimate space where private matters take place. It could be like an apartment. Uh, unit or like an office space. Um, I wonder if somebody tried to come visit you or something. Like someone tried to reach you. Thief. They did. They did. Look, courthouse. Somebody from the court, like somebody's been trying to reach you, but it didn't, it didn't happen. They, they, uh, another person blocked it. Something about the, the neighborhood, the community that you live in. Holy Spirit, tell us about that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, not hiring in despair. And then look, family room. It's where you live. It's where you spend a lot of time. Um, you're not in a good place. You're not in a good community or, or a good area. Distant horizons. You may have to leave this, this current place that you're at because this news won't reach you unless you change your space. Mess Speaking of news, the message card literally represents news, you guys. It's going to, like, something's meant to be starting for you already. This season, something's meant to start for you. But it's going to take a long time. It's going to keep on getting blocked and blocked because of the area where you live. That's why Distant Horizon is here. This is going to, it's going to take a long time to come in because every time it tries to come in, it gets blocked or it's not like something's being in something's intercepting a person's intercepting and look thief you are around untrustworthy people you are around untrusty trustworthy people they're the one who's putting you in despair because this is an opportunity that can give you money sudden wealth this is an opportunity that's that's meant to prosper you elevate you Increase your finances. It's for a main female. It, it's like you're stranded somewhere and you need help and help's trying to reach you. But the people around you are blocking the help from reaching you. And so it's causing delays. It's supposed to be happening right now. It's not though. Distant horizons. It's not. It's being delayed. So now it's going to take a long time for you to get this news, this message. I feel like this is a third person energy. Someone tried to reach you. They're from the, like, they're, they are a judge, councilman, advisor, something like that. Judication. They're meant to tell you about some sort of case that you're a part of. Some sort of case. Some sort of legal case that you are a part of. That's his job. Occupation is to, is to alert you about this. It's a man, main male. But look, he's concerned because they've been expecting you, but you haven't been reaching out because who knows? Maybe you don't even know about this. Maybe they sent you a letter and someone stole it. Mail. I keep for weeks now, I keep on feeling like I keep on getting this message that some of you need to be careful with your mail getting stolen. And by the way, stealing mail is a federal crime. It is a federal crime, you guys. And if you're worried about someone stealing your mail, if you think this is your story, please discern. All of my readings are not going to be for everyone. Discern. 
If you're worried about that, please get a P.O. box and forward your mail there. Get a P.O. box with the postal office and get your mail transfer there just for safety and security because there's a main male who is very concerned now. Like they've been waiting for you, waiting to hear from you, waiting for you to reach out, expectation because the pathway is clear. The door's open, the pathway is clear, but you haven't reached out. So they're wondering if you're okay. They may even be wondering if they have to intervene, like cause, you know, Something here in order to see you. Family room, it's where you live. Your personal space where you live. People are not allowing guests or outsiders to see you. This main male works for the court or something. Some sort of legal advisor. He is of high honor. But look, imprisonment, they're not letting him in. They're not letting him see you. I don't know what neighborhood or community you live in, but the people there are not letting any like outsiders to see you. Imprisonment and community. I can't make this up. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's a man that tried to see you. Strength, overcoming difficulties, page of cups and the tower. You see, he's having a hard time reaching you. And I think something happened here with the tower card. Dramatic endings or some sort of major reveal. Clarify. 42. The compass card, which is all about directions or guidance. What happened here? The tower. Holy Spirit, please open our eyes and our minds so we can figure this out. You see, this is six, like he was told the wrong information. Six is the cloud card, which, which means literally six. <clears throat> this is crazy. It says, I am dark on one side and light on the other. Conflicts and doubts I am sure to bring. You will not be able to see clearly. I will block your perception and let confusion reign. And then it's followed by 23, mice. The mice card represents a loss. They're making this man have a missed opportunity to see you, meet you, and talk to you. They are misguiding him away from you. Look, I can't. Number one is the message card. He asked to speak to you. He has a message, a letter for you. But they misguided him intentionally so that he won't see you, talk to you. What happened here at this tower, Holy Spirit? Tell us more about this event. Because the tower is like a shocking moment. Look, 11, strife. 11 is like the whip. The whip or the broom card. It's conflict, high temperament, strife. So I don't know if they fought this man. Like what? Was there a big argument? Yeah. There, 12, it, the birds card. It's all about communication. I don't know if they shouted at this man, told him to never come back, to leave the premises, something like that. Don't ever come back. You're not welcomed here. Something like that. Number 29, it caused people. He said this woman's looking out the window. I think it caused people to even like, maybe if there were other people around, they were looking because maybe it was a loud argument or disagreement and it caught the attention of other people. Some sort of loud argument, disagreement here. Yeah, 31. 31. The sun card, illumination. This was brought to light. Other people were like, what's going on? Why are they fighting that man? That man? Like, what's going on here? This is crazy. 10, the blade card. I mean, this, I've never seen, like, what? Snake? Someone's trying to block a very important news or message from you. 
Yeah, 13, child. Are you the child of someone? This is wild. Sorry, you guys. Ooh, look at that thing. You must be the child of someone. And then there's a gift for you. Number nine, somebody left you a gift. You must be the child to someone or grandchild, godchild, niece, you know, nephew. Um, or maybe you have maybe you have a child, but there is a gift here for a child. It could be money, property, inheritance, something. And they don't like they're trying to block you from receiving this. Who is doing the, it's 34 is represents abundance and resources. Someone has someone left you. You could be the child of someone or grandchild, godchild, niece, nephew. Um, and they left you abundance. It could be funds, inheritance, property, land, estate, 34. And it's causing the court, this is a legal case, it's causing the court court to be concerned because the pathway is open. They're like, why isn't he or she communicating? Why didn't they respond to our letter? Somebody stole someone's letter from a mailbox. And again, that is a federal crime. They're like, they're like, like something, who is doing this? Because we have an emperor, high priestess, queen of swords, knight of pentacles. Who's doing this? Who is blocking this? Who's, who's causing this here? Who is doing this? Trying to, to, to put a blockage. Yeah, trying to put a blockage. 21 is the mountain card and it literally means blockage obstacles, challenges, but who is doing this? Five, your stability and security. Who's doing this? 29, the lady card. Is it a lady that's doing this? Is it a woman that's doing it? Because lady and number six, the cloud card taking away clarity and bringing in confusion or is there someone confusing a lady who's who's causing the problem here who's putting in the blockage who's putting in the blockage it, i mean it's crazy a two-faced person 40 i feel like it could be a woman who is doing this? I think it's a woman. The hangman coming into um, a discovery is what the hangman is. Like getting that, that light bulb moment, you know, coming into an awakening, no longer being in suspense. I feel like it's a woman, a very two-faced. She's showing up as a mask. It's a woman that's doing this or someone's paying the woman to do it. Three of Cups, is, it, is this a friend, someone who you're socially connected to? Who is this woman that's doing this? The Sun. Two of Pentacles. I feel like it's two people, but the woman's being paid to do it. Is that, is that correct, Holy Spirit? Please bring us confirmation. Yes, it's two people, two of Pentacles. But one of them's paying her to do it. Seven of Swords. This is weird. Seven of Wands. Like one of them's doing it on another person. So who's the second person? Holy Spirit. Who's the second person? Ooh. You know who the second person is. Because I, feel, I heard you change your mind about them. Maybe it's someone who you were interested. Look at how the Two of Wands came out in the reverse. Who's the second person who's in on this? Who's the second person who's in on this? Yeah, you change your mind about this person. Four of Pentacles. They're very, um, Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. This could be someone who's very like greedy and caught up in the material world. And why do I say that? Because Four of Pentacles represents someone who has an attachment to a person, place, or thing. And then the Eight of Pentacles represents work. So... Okay, tell us more about this Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Wait a second. 
I think this is someone who wants to wants you to work for them. Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles. They want to give you a job opportunity, but you already have a job opportunity here. Like, like you, you don't even have to work. You have inheritance. There's something here that someone left for you. But clearly this enemy here doesn't want you to find out about it because they want to be the one to offer you something. Maybe they want to be the one to offer you the job so you can work with them and it'll give them an excuse for the two of you to be together. Or this person just wants to be the one to fund your life. They want to be the one to take care of you financially. There's something here where they want you to need them. And like they want this person, I think this is a lover, but I feel like you've, you, you kind of, you changed. I saw that two of wands in the reverse. Okay. I saw that two of wands in the reverse, you guys. So it's like, I, maybe something, I feel like something, something started between the two of you. There was clearly a connection here, a very like hot and heavy one. It was a very passionate connection. It was nothing, it was nothing like they, it was nothing like they've ever felt. It was strong. I don't think this person had ever really felt love like that. So that's why they're so hooked on you. But I feel like you change your mind about them. I keep on getting that. And I saw it with that two of wands in the reverse. Like if you had plans to be with them or move towards them, you said no. And honestly, looking at how they're acting, I don't, I'm not even going to question why you said no. There's something here about this four of pentacles, eight of pentacles. This person feels like you won't be as attached to them if you receive this blessing, this financial blessing. It'll open because this financial blessing will open doors for you. And so you'll be able to make a lot of money on your own and you wouldn't need them. And I feel like I feel like they want to be the one to provide for you and take care of you and pamper you, cater to you in order to win your love. So there's something about this person where they like to give, but it's kind of like so that you can be with them. Like it's there's something here where they don't just give for free. It's an exchange. I'll pamper you. I'll give you the life that you want for your love. And maybe your love can't be bought. Maybe, and, but isn't that a good thing? If if someone's love can't be bought, that means that it's a genuine, pure love where you don't have to, you don't have to do much in order for them to love you. Just treat them right. Treat them good and and give them a reason to stay because the money is not going to give them a reason to stay. Does that make sense, you guys? I'm just trying to be fair here and really understand this. Tell us about what this Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles is. Yeah. So number two is like the Clover card, which talks about luck. There could also be this thing where by you being with this individual, by you being in their life, it has brought them a lot of luck. <gasps> I think that's what it is. You are the clover card. Like you do, you are luck. You are very, very blessed. And you're one of those people where everything you touch turns to gold. And whoever gets access to you, they also become blessed. Ever since you stepped into this person's life, they've they've experienced major improvements. They've gone from a four of pentacles to an eight of pentacles. They were at a place where money wasn't bad, like four of pentacles is financial security, you know? But then when you stepped into their life, gosh, look, they went from a four to an eight. Their finances quadrupled. From, in four, from a four to an eight. Can you imagine? I feel like things were decent before you came into their life. And then when you connected yourself to them, Things started to just pick up and go very well in their life um, because you are luck. You are there. You are a good luck charm to have. And there's this thing. Tell us more about this four of pentacles, eight of pentacles. The sun. Y'all, the sun card. I'm going to read it to you. You're this person's good luck charm and they know it. Without you in their life, things feel chaotic. You bring stability and security to this person. 
31, it says, is the sun card. And it says here, I am success. Hear me roar. I control your ego and charisma. I boost your confidence and courage. You have uplifted this person. You have increased this person. I mean, you, were, you are a blessing to this person and not a curse. With you in their life, they have prospered and everything feels okay. So that's why they don't want, that's why they're so attached to you. And for some reason, there's something about you receiving this, this blessing here, lady, something about you receiving this blessing that they don't want. They don't want you to find out about it. Look, you're the lady, main female, of course, and then 12, the bird card, messages and communication. They don't want you finding out about this. Why? Why? I'm going to do that again. Why don't they want you finding out about this? 39. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Even if they feel like it's not a good idea for you to for you to accept this offer, they can't make the decision for you. It's your choice. Um, 39 is the mice card, or not mice, dice. 39 is the dice card, which is all about choices or taking chances. And then 38, the bridge. It's almost like, why don't they want you to, to know about this opportunity, this blessing here? This is not anything bad. This opportunity is a blessing that's going to prosper you. 12, the stork card, which, which talks about promotions and elevations. I think they're afraid of you leaving them behind. I think that's what it is. 36. The cross card. It's almost like when you enter this person's life, you play cleanup. You carry their burdens and you made everything better. You solved all their problems. You're literally like a good luck charm. And yeah. I can't make this up. 18, the dog card. Dog card is a trustworthy person, a supportive friend, someone who's loyal and will help you when you're down. You came into this person's life when things weren't the best and you lifted them up and you helped solve all of their problems and you helped them play clean up and you put them back on the right track. And now they've become very stingy and possessive and they don't want to share you with anybody they don't want you to it's almost like if you receive this must be a really big opportunity because it's going to open many doors for you and it's also going to put you on a high platform where you'll now have options and many people coming into your life and they don't like that it's not that they envy you but they get jealous. They're not jealous of you, but they get jealous over you. They just want to keep you all to themselves. Look, you're going to be a powerhouse. 15 is power, strength. It also represents a big, like, um, a powerful person in the business world. Yeah. It says, I am power and strength, health and protection. The polar bear is the most powerful of all species. The bear can relate to a person who is in a position of power in the business world. Like, this is going to put you on such a high platform. And they don't want that. They're selfish. They don't want that for you. Because they don't want you to get too far from them. They don't want you to... They don't want to share you with other people. Yeah, you are also their romantic interest. They're jealous over you, not jealous of you. They want you to be committed to them and them only, like just the two of you, but in a very selfish way. This is a lover. You help this person so much. It's so good. I feel like you're the kind of person where you step into someone's life, you make it better. 
you make people better. Like you have that magic touch and you're meant to, you're not meant to be encaged. You're meant to spread your wings and fly and help other people touch the lives of many other people. You are clearly someone who's highly gifted, skilled, and talented. You're not meant to be hidden. You're not meant to be confined or restricted, limited. You're not. You are not. This is selfish. I don't know what to say, you guys. But someone's trying to reach a person about some a really good opportunity. And it keeps on being blocked. And then look at this. Okay. The Emperor, High Priestess, Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. I don't understand. <sighs> Tell us about this Emperor, High Priestess, Queen of Swords. So that's you. You're showing up as the polar bear. You're showing up as 11, the broom, whip card, and then 37, the clock. I feel like this is going to come to you in divine timing. This person who's blocking it, they're really just sabotaging their, their opportunity to be with you because you're not going to want anything to do with them when you find out about this. But I feel like everything is just happening in divine timing. There's something about that 15, 11, 37, the clock card. Tell us more about this. I think it's building your strength. By you overcoming the obstacles that this person's putting in your way of this blessing, you're getting stronger and stronger. 39, I mean 29, lady card, child. You're getting stronger and stronger. And I feel like the love that you have for this person, it's, it's like decreasing. It's causing you to focus more and more on yourself and less and less on them. It's breaking that love spell that, that once captured you. Not an actual spell, but you know when you're in love with someone, it makes you blind to their ugly side, it's actually, the more they do this, it's waking you up. It's building your strength and resistance against this individual so that you can learn to really stand your ground and not let them take your power or make you feel weak and vulnerable. See how this little girl, she's looking like her, this is her fantasies, her imagination. It's, it's causing you to focus more on your ambition, focus more on yourself and not be so distracted by this individual. So every time they put an obstacle in your way and you focus on conquering it, it builds your strength and resistance against this person's tempting or seductive um, nature. I think this is someone who may have may have had some power over you in the past or maybe even in a past lifetime and they took you you gave them so much power so they took your power and made you feel weak and vulnerable. But the more you keep on dodging their tactics and overcoming their obstacles, you're building resistance to them. It's going to get to a point where there's nothing that they can do to even shake you up. And it's also, it's draining any kind of love and affection that you had towards them. I feel like you're becoming tougher and tougher when it comes to this individual. No more puppy love. No more puppy love. Like you're, you're becoming real aggressive. You're even showing up as the queen of swords. It's draining the love. They're hurting themselves. They're, they're self-sabotaging a connection with you. The queen of swords is here. You're, you're tough now. Like you're not even showing up as a queen of cups, which would be their romantic interest. You're a queen of swords. You're using logic when it comes to this person. You're not using empathy or emotions. You're seeing them clear as day. Look at the night of, and I feel like you're very focused on building and establishing yourself. They, the more they sabotage you, the more you don't even want to focus on love. It looks like the more they do this to you, the more ambitious you are when it comes to establishing yourself. They're really pushing you away. They are really pushing you away. Yeah. 
gap. They are really, really pushing you away. The more they try to block you from this opportunity, from this blessing, the more you're distancing yourself, the more you're seeing them in such a, I feel like this person may have even put a really bitter taste in your mouth. You know, look, like, I don't, it's something about this person where it, the love is turning sour now. You know, six, you're having a hard time even seeing them in a good way. Like six, you know, the, 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 the lack of clarity and confusion, like the light versus their light side versus their dark side is just making you feel. And I think they're doing this thinking that you don't know it's them doing it because they're sending a woman. There's a woman who they, who, who, the, who's doing it. Y'all, I can't. They're paying this woman to do it. 20 is like the part card, which represents the public. There's like a friend. Because remember that three of cups. There's a friend who they're asking to do this. And they're paying this person 34 abundance and resources. That's what's hidden. So even if you catch this friend, you won't be able to pinpoint it back to them. But they don't realize that you're the high priestess. You see through deception. You may even be very intuitive or spiritually gifted. And let me tell you this, you're the emperor. The emperor is someone who's fully in control. This person wants to control you and possess you. They can't. I assure you, you're the emperor. It's causing you, notice how you're not even coming up as the lady number one with the rose in her hand, as in that would signify you as the romantic suitor of this man. You're showing up as the lady number two, which is her. Let me show you. This is the lady card number one. This is the lady card number two. So you're not even showing up. He's looking at you as his number one lady, main female. You're showing up as lady number two, as in you're no longer in that romantic position you're like an outsider to him now looking in <laughs> you're the outsider to him looking in like you're not even seeing yourself as his lover anymore isn't that sad but i understand i absolutely understand and you can investigate this situation. The people who are going to get in trouble are the people who he's paying. But it'll never, you'll, he won't get in trouble. He's paying people to do his dirty work. So you can investigate this, look into it. You're wasting your time. Even if you find proof, it's going to be, it's going to be the puppets who he's using to do his dirty work. It's not going to be connected to him, but you have spiritual insight. So you know who the puppet master is, who's, who's paying and influencing people to do this. But one thing I want you to know is you're in, you're fully in control. You're showing up as the emperor. You're in the most powerful masculine energy. The emperor is someone who is seated in a position of power and authority. He has full control. He is in charge. You're also sitting here as the high priestess. The high priestess is someone who is known to be all-knowing. All-knowing. That's who the high priestess is. There's nothing that they've been able to hide or keep from you. And they have not been able to control you, period. All these things that they're doing, you're keeping a mark. Like You're marking it down. You're noting it. I don't think you're saying much, though, because the high priestess knows more than she says. And here's the, here's the thing. This information is going to be delivered to you. Queen of Swords, you see how her hand is out? She's like, okay, show me what you have for me. This information will be delivered to you, maybe even by a Knight of Pentacles. Tell us about that, Holy Spirit, when this news does get delivered to you. Trust me, nothing can stop what God has for you. I think God has given these people a chance to stop and change their ways. This has, this have, don't, don't, this could even be classified as like bullying, bullying, tormenting someone, harassing someone. Like they're doing it from a distance though. 
They could be watching you and paying people to do things like not hurt you or harm you, but block this opportunity from coming forward. You're dealing with a lover who wants to possess and control you. You know, but may your enemy find God where they choose to uh, control you. Okay. Yes, may they find God. And what do I mean by that? Anytime they try to control you, it backfires. Anytime they try to possess you, it backfires. Because you serve a higher power. Yeah, may your enemies find God where they seek to control you. Because your life is in the hands of God. There is a powerful lesson that God is teaching anyone who wants to control you, possess you, mislead you, misguide you, devastate you, frustrate you, destroy you. They don't have power over you and they certainly don't have authority over you because you serve a living God. You serve a higher power. So let them keep on trying this nonsense. They're going to be in pain. They're digging a hole for themselves because by the time they have sabotaged, they've tried to sabotage you. It's going to be hard to make amends with you. They've dug such a deep hole for themselves. How are they going to pull? How are they going to pull themselves out of it? How are they going to make amends with you to say, I'm sorry, I was blocking a good opportunity from you? Because at this point, this is personal. They're, they're meddling in your personal affairs. But it's so interesting because I feel like you have been redeemed. I feel like God is using this time of delay to clear the path for you. You know, you know that scripture, he prepares a table in the presence of my enemies. I believe it's Psalm 23, if I remember correctly, verses four to six. God prepares a table. He's preparing a table for you in the presence of your enemies. As your enemies are doing this, thinking they're getting away with it, they're not getting away with nothing and they're not influencing anything in your life. Your blessing still stands. Your new beginning still stands. What's meant for you is still coming. And God is just using this period of delay to teach them a lesson while also multiplying your blessing. You will be compensated, reimbursed for the time that has been lost. God is tripling, quadrupling the blessing for you because you had to wait patiently as he's using your story to teach people a lesson. He's using your story to show people that he is very much alive and present and watching. And as long as God sees everything, no one can get away with anything. These people have a charge on their case. This is, this is crazy. Guidance for you. Guidance for you. What's your guidance? The snakes, they're all being exposed. They're all being exposed. And you know what? <laughs> this is the same person, this man who is so obsessed with you and desperately wants an opportunity with you. He is, he is literally sabotaging his chance of being with you. But he thinks you don't know. He thinks he's going to get away with it. This man is going to be so hurt to the core when you reject him. Because he's thinking that you don't know it's him doing it. But you know the magnifying glass, number 44. Which means taking a deeper, a closer look at a situation and making discoveries, finding out something that was hidden. It's him. And when you reject him, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when you reject this man, 29, you are going to reject him. You're not showing up as uh, 29, the lady card number one. You're in the number two position. You're now an outsider. You're now a complete stranger to this man. You've completely diso um dissociated from him. You, you're not affiliated with him anymore. 
this is your second or third time showing up as the 29 card. You're not connected to him anymore. You've completely severed ties. Look, 22. The decision card. There's no right or wrong path to take, but you can only take one. I feel like you're, you're exiting this connection with him. And the thing is, his blessings, his financial blessings are connected to you. You are the eyes that he doesn't have. You are the guidance that he doesn't have. You're like a spiritual guide for him. When you enter this man's life, I'm telling you, he was on the verge of losing it all. And you came in and helped reestablish you, like you help uplift him. And this is how he's repaying you. But he doesn't think you know. You know, it's like, how do people act when they don't think that they're being watched? And he's showing his devious side. He's showing his shadow side. But he doesn't think that you know it's him. He thinks that you're going to investigate this and blame the other people, the puppets who he's sending to do this. So he thinks he's good. So what does that say to him, right? What does that say about him as well? He uses people and he does he exploits people. <laughs> so now you're looking at your other choices in love. You have not devoted yourself. You haven't committed yourself to this man. You're looking at your other choices. And I really do not blame you. And you know what you're going to say in the end when this opportunity comes in? Yeah, there will be communication between the two of you, number 12. You know what you're going to say? You're going to say, thank you for showing me exactly who you are. Because now I see you for exactly who you are. And I don't see you as a romantic suitor anymore. These are all the things that he was hit, hiding from you, hoping you wouldn't know. But he ended up showing it to you by his behavior. There's guidance for you. Are you going to get this news, this message? 28, yes, and it's from another man. I told you, main male, he's here. This man is from the courthouse. 28. Are you going to get this news, this message? I truly feel like you are. 40. Why is 40 showing up? I feel like this man could be older, like an older male. But 40 is the mask card. Clarify 40. Letter. Message. 40 is like the mask though. Something's not what it seems or someone's playing a role that they're not meant to be in. Something like that. Or is he hiding? Is he hiding himself? The mask card. There's a message here for you. Nope. I think this is a fake person who's going to be sent towards you. Be careful with this. Um, there's a man here. I think he's older. Be careful. He is not the real person. He's fake. He's false. And look, letter and number one, he's going to give you news and message, but it's not good news. Ten. The blade card. It's sharp. It's painful and it could be dangerous. And then look, it's to, it's to start conflict with you. Hold on. This is interesting. This is a false person here. It's a false person. They're trying to confuse you. The, the, the dice card, taking chances. This is a false messenger. So this opportunity might be so big that you have other enemies who don't want you to receive this blessing. And they're also sending false people to you. So you have a lover here who's blocking you, trying to block you from, an, from a blessing. But then you also have outside enemies who's sending you false people. Please don't sign anything. Don't sign a document. Don't sign contracts. Don't talk to people about your personal life, especially finances. Um, if there's anything that you have to sign, like any documentation, make sure that you have an attorney, a trusted attorney or contract reviewer. 
because this is a false person that's coming towards you. They, they're they older, 30, the Lily's card. And look, 21 and uh, 27, they're coming to give you a, like a document, letter, and a message. But look, it's to hurt you, 10. And it's to cause bit more problems in your life. They're coming to misinform you and getting you to sign something that doesn't need to be signed. <sighs> Lord. So how are you going to receive this message, this news, the right way? Night. I feel like you're going to have to, like you're going to have be the one to have to take action and go towards it. Yeah, you're going to go towards Knight of Wands is someone who's on a passionate pursuit and the Four of Wands is redemption. Yeah, you're 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 the one who's going to go towards it. It's not going to come towards you because there's something here Page of Wands that's the idea. Page of Wands is like a good idea that leads you to um, a good outcome. What is this message saying? Please tell us more. Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have to maybe move, not move, but like take a trip somewhere. Three of Swords is separation. Yes, it's heartbreak, disappointment, but also represents separations. And the chariot, you taking a trip, you moving, forward movement. Okay, maybe you're going to take a trip somewhere, go somewhere, something like that. Because I feel like wherever you're at, it's not a good place to receive. If it, this blessing has been trying to come in, it keeps on getting blocked. And then you have false people trying to connect with you over this blessing and getting you to sign something where they're going to misinform you, give you a contract, document, letter. Do not sign anything without an attorney. Let me see here. There's news. What's this guidance for you? So you're going to have to take a trip somewhere. Take a trip to, is it the courthouse? Nine of Wands. It is the courthouse. Ten. I heard courthouse. And then Ace of Swords, the truth and clarity. Or some sort of wealthy establishment or institution. Ten of Pentacles. You're going to have to take a trip somewhere, but where? That's how you're going to defeat these enemies. You're the one who's going to take the trip. You're the one who's going to make that call. But where though? It's like some sort of wealthy institution or something like that. Yeah, again, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. And they're going to work with you. The clerk? Is it the clerk? I think it's a courthouse. Is it? Is it a courthouse, Holy Spirit? Yes or no? Is it a courthouse? It is Ace of Pentacles. You see, these people, your enemies who are on standby trying to block this, they don't expect you to receive this guidance, but you're working with a higher power. You're working with the Most High God, and He's guiding you. They're not expecting you to make this move. They're thinking you're going to stay at this place and wait for news, message, communication. They're not expecting you to go and get the blessing. You're being guided to take a trip somewhere. All these pentacles, some sort of wealthy institution, I do wonder if it's like the courthouse, excuse me, if it's the courthouse, something like that. And I heard clerk. I heard clerk. The lovers is here. What I say? Courthouse. <laughs> Hey, oh my gosh. What did I say? And I heard clerk. I heard clerk. So go to the courthouse and talk to the clerk about it. They've been looking for you. And they're hoping to find you. That's a direct message I just heard. They've been looking for you and they're hoping to find you. The lovers. Two people or two things coming directly together. You and this blessing coming together. Go to the courthouse and talk to the clerk. Don't tell anybody about this guidance that I just gave you because at this point, you don't want to, <laughs> they might try to block you from going at this point. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. 
I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the message. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. If you're interested in connecting with me more, all of my info will be down in the description box. You can visit my website. You can um, do, a, do a prayer submission, which is where you share with me whatever you like me to know, and I'll do my best to keep you in my prayers. Um, you can also get a reading, make a donation. All of that good stuff is going to be in the description box. Take good care, everyone. Many blessings to you and know that absolutely no one can stop what God has for you. Take care, everyone.